Greetings that are friendly, it's me, the Necrofessor, creeping towards you with a slightly different plague news. Now, a lot of things have happened since I've done one of these videos. Enough time for me to work on other projects and to get animated, as well as time for the grand pandemic pendulum to swing ever closer to our collective throats as 2020 approaches its final form. A presidential election has gone underway since I've done one of these videos, and is still underway. Uh, how the hell does that even work? Well, um, uh, the previous president is attempting to take states to the Supreme Court for the voting corruptions of the system. Uh, I'm not really sure how it all works, but it is ensuring how the transition of power was going to be anything but smooth. If you were a time traveler asking me who the hell the president of America land was at the end of 2020, I would have to pause for a second because that is actually a great question. I could say Biden, but I will be damned if a solid chunk of the country wouldn't say I'm wrong. All I know is the kings are quarreling and the townsfolk are restless, just like any other plague time. So, how is Corona Chan doing these nights? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. It beleaguers my soul to see that this virus has achieved such prevalence throughout the lands. Infections continue to spike in more densely populated areas, and the mixture of COVID fatigue and the constant pressure to adhere to the invisible standards has allowed this plague to continue its advance, as America and other parts of the world prepare for another series of lockdowns. Things happen in such a strange cadence of time during the plague. Any plague, really. But this year doesn't screw around. And in such short amount of time, we've watched the world change to a plague world, like the prequel to a zombie movie. You would think I'd be overjoyed as a plague doctor to cover such topics. But the more tragedy that unfolds in my eyes, the less optimistic I've become. I've witnessed America Land pull themselves away from the World Health Organization, cut funding to the Center for Disease Control, I've witnessed an attrition of medical resources strangle so many countries in less than four months. This pandemic has brought such a strain upon the hospitals and medical systems of the land. And yet, the war of inconvenience seems to keep the body count rising like it's half off at the crematory. The times of waxing philosophical about the recovery efforts during COVID-19 are over. I remember doing these videos at the beginning of the pandemic, back when I could look at the curve and give some semblance to the thought that if we focused our efforts, we could have this infection down to a manageable level by next year. But it ramped up, and now what used to be a simple video series became something daunting. In the beginning, I wanted to cover whatever plague news I could from my own plague doctor perspective before the memories were washed away like clown tears in the rain. Now I find myself with more plague news than I could possibly ever cover. From anti-maskers to anti-vaxxers, the schism in society on who thinks what is the proper medical direction for combating this disease continues to blur, and humanity is having such a hard time working together. This is the darkest timeline. So, what are we going to do about it? Remember when I said back in a previous video that this plague preys on your fear? Well, compound that over a year of wearing a mask, adhering to hand-washing regimes, and maintaining a constant social distancing while witnessing this horrifying event play itself out across the global landscape. And yet, despite your best efforts, those close to you still succumb to the infection of an invisible foe known as Corona-chan. That uneasy sensation can really mess with your daily routine as you go about solving riddles left by ghosts or creating cursed objects and leaving them at the playground or whatever you normally do. I was going to pull up some articles and ramble off my opinion. There was this one about local pharmaceutical companies bragging about how effective their trials for their new vaccine are coming along, but I told myself this is just one of those moments where you have to just unplug your mind from the fear machine and realize that you can't believe everything you read. There's new lockdowns underway, people are losing their jobs and getting sick and dying. Meanwhile, I think everyone's doing a great job, and should be getting a raise and a vacation on Mars. Except for some assholes. You know who you are. Anyway, I'm not going to do articles this time. Instead, as your plague doctor, I will diagnose you with being a badass, and prescribe you to go listen to some music and find your happy place. Even if it's in a dumpster chilling with your favorite possum or volunteering at the local morgue. I'm gonna go find some more coffee, and I hope that you have an amazing evening. I really appreciate all the support that I get. 
from such amazing creeps across the multiverse. Yep, I think that's about it. All right, I'm out of here. Stay creepy.